Hi, my name is Cody, and I'm a technician here at Resale World. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a listing to your Shopify or ShopRW site. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find an item that we want to list. I already have an item made here, and we're going to go we're going to go ahead and make sure that the web item tick box is selected. Having that selected does make it easier to find once we open up the listing manager. So I'm going to go ahead and save and open the listing manager from the top right corner. Once we're in the listing manager, we can go off to the left top of the screen and click on add listing. In this window, we can search for items that we want to add, but I already have one checked off as a web item and the web items will all show up in the list down below here. So let's go ahead and choose that web item. After selecting the item I wanted, now I can select a marketplace that I want to send it to. And we can even change the title and description right now, but I'm gonna opt to do that in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And that's going to take us to this maintain listing screen. This screen is where you can edit all of the settings and details for your listing. So I can double check that I do have a photo. It looks like my photo is upside down, so I can go ahead and rotate it back to normal using the Liberty Photo Editor by double clicking on the photo. I could double check the title of my post. It looks like it's called Test 3. Let's call it Test Shirt 3. And then I could also change the description. Before I'm ready to list, I should double check all of my settings here. If I wanted to have a higher price online, I could set that here as well. Right now it's set to $11. If I were to move it up to $20, then the extra $9 that the person pays will come down as a web fee. If I'd like to make a featured item, there's a tick box to do so right here. By default, before items can go up, it is required that they have a weight and at least one picture. If you'd like to change that, you can go into Settings, Options, go ahead and Log In, and Storefront Settings. Here you can see these two tick boxes that say require at least one image and require shipping weight. Unticking those will allow you to upload items to your Shopify or ShopRW site without or a picture. Now, if we are finally done and ready to list, there are two ways that we can do it. We can choose ready to list and then save the item, or we could simply hit list now. Taking the ready to list button means next time that Liberty syncs with ShopRW or Shopify, the item will be sent to that storefront. Hitting list now sends the item to the storefront immediately. And after hitting list now, you'll see a quick loading screen. And then if I go online to my website, you'll see that here I have a product uploaded and it's available for purchase now on my Shopify site. To view the article on the subject, go ahead and check the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.